everyone and welcome back to the garage. I am Ryan and you are watching RC Fun and Games. Today we are working on the Traxxas TRX4 Defender. Like I mentioned, I picked up quite a few parts to customize the body and I also picked up something which should make it easier to get this body on and off because since I fitted this bumper, it has been really difficult to get this body on and off this truck. So we're going to be looking at that and a couple of other custom items that I got for the body. I will only be installing a couple of items in every video because this requires quite a bit of work and takes quite a bit of time to get all these things on perfectly. So let's have a look at what I've got for the truck and let's start fitting some of these items. I picked up one of those funny looking bags that you're supposed to hang on the side. That's something I definitely want to have a look at. We've also got loads of stainless steel panels that will be going on to the rig. We've got the sides, we have got the hood, we have got the back, we have got Again, the hood on the sides, I still don't know exactly which one I'm going to go for. We have got the window guards. So we've got lots of cool accessories to make this thing look really awesome and look a lot more like my big rig. All those parts I showed you, we will be installing them in the next video. Today we are going to try and install the mud flaps. We are going to go for the exhaust and of course the grill which should make it a lot easier to get this body on and off. So I found this online. This is the 3D printed grill I found on AliExpress. It looks pretty cool and it just doesn't have that winch, which I think is going to make a huge difference to get this body on and off, or at least I hope so. Okay, now that I've shown you all the parts, I might as well get stuck in and let's start with this front grill so I can see if we can get this body on a little bit easier than the way it has been lately. Okay, having a close look at this grill, I've got to say the detail is pretty awesome and the 3D printed quality is really, really nice. The only thing I've got to complain about, I don't know if the camera is showing it, it is bowed. But I'm sure when we tighten it down, it should take that bowing out. Okay, so let's get the body off and see what do we need to do to get this installed. You see how you got to do this? And then when you want to put it back in, it catches everywhere making it really difficult. So let's see if by changing that grill, it's going to make a difference. Okay, so let's get started getting these screws out on the front grill here. Okay, well that definitely changed the look on the front. Now let's just see if it actually fits on easier than before. So my tabs there. Let's just see. Are we able? Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's so easy. Okay, and as you can see, that looks a lot better than it did, and it's a lot easier to get this body on and off. All I got to do is just clip. And it just goes right back in to the same place. There you are. It's a lot better. That's a lot easier than it has been because I have been struggling a lot. The only other reason it struggles to get on is because the inner fenders catch a little bit on the plastics on the side. Besides that, it is really easy now to get the body on and off. Okay, now that we've got that on, let's move on to fitting the mud flaps and exhaust, which I don't know if it's going to be possible with the inner flares and everything else, but let's have a look. So let's get this back off. Now, once again, this is clearly a 3D printed item and it looks like it's resin printed. Yeah, you can definitely see all the lines. This is definitely 3D printed as well. But once again, the quality looks amazing. And this product is from DJ Crawler. It comes with these awesome little plates. If you look there, you got that one and you get the exhaust tips as well. And of course, the hardware needed to install it. So let's start by installing this to the exhaust and then trying to get it on the truck. trying to put these on but they don't fit so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of sanding or I've got to grind a little bit inside the hole for them to go on a 
Okay, I've sanded enough off these now for them to actually go on. They're still very tight, but they do go on. I'm also going to swap the original length screw for something a little bit longer. Okay, and as you can see, that actually looks really cool from the back. Now, compressing the full suspension, we have no problem. So it's actually a really nice fit. The only problem I am gonna have is because of fitting it behind the fenders, it's pushed it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit off the sides of the fenders for them to fit in between the body again. But for now, let's try and work out these mud flaps because I guess I'm gonna have to take these screws out again because the back ones are probably gonna go over there on the outer side and the front ones I'm guessing are gonna go on these two screws over here. So let's get that packet open and let's see what do we need to get this fitted. Cool, look at those little mud flaps. They do look really awesome. Okay, so let's get the mud flaps installed onto the metal braces and the X is the side that's gonna go onto the chassis and the other side with nothing is the one that takes the flap. Now if you pay attention the flap has got pieces of rubber still in there but they're very easy to get out just by pushing a screwdriver or a little wrench through they fall right out. So this just goes like that and it's pretty self-explanatory as you get these bolts to go through and then you just use a nut on the other side but don't forget to put a little bit of Loctite. Okay, and as you can see, I've got everything fitted that I wanted to fit in this video, and I really like the look of that exhaust. It makes a big difference on the back of a scale little truck like this. And of course, these rubber mud flaps just finish off the look I'm trying to go for. I won't be doing any insane rock crawling with the Defender anymore, especially with all these accessories. It's basically just a trail truck. Okay, so that's one thing you've got to take in consideration when you fit all these kind of parts to your truck. It is definitely not going to be very capable when you're trying to rock crawl, especially with the mud flaps. Okay, I just wanted to point out that this nice exhaust of theirs and the design is actually pretty bad because you can't reach the clip at all to be able to take off the body once you've got it on. So I'm going to cut a little hole on the back side of here just so my finger can go in so I can push the clip. And I don't feel like stripping it all off, so I'm going to try and do it from the top here. I'm just going to try and cut two lengths down and remove the piece of plastic in the middle. Okay, so I'm back from outside. I've grinded what I need to on either side. And to finish it off, I'm just going to grab a black Sharpie pen and I'm just going to run it across the white so you don't see it anymore. 
it's a great little trick to hide it away if you don't feel like spray painting the whole unit for no reason. It covers it up so nicely and so easily. I definitely recommend this little trick. Now I just want to talk a little bit about the parts I fitted. The mud flaps I definitely recommend. I think it's an awesome accessory to finish off your rig, especially if you're building a trail truck. Now if you still want it to be capable and go rock rolling and stuff, I don't recommend the mud flaps because they are going to get caught up in your tires and cause you a lot of problem. Now the grill, definitely I recommend. If you're running the same front bumper as this, well then I 100% recommend the 3D printed grill from AliExpress. And of course, the link will be in the description of the video. That made life a lot easier. Now, the one item I definitely don't recommend is this exhaust system. Let me just show you. So you get this box and you can't get your finger in from this side. You can't get your finger in from the back. It's a really stupid idea and it completely conceals the back clip of the body. So you literally cannot take off your body if you push it on and you fit to this exhaust. I don't know if you can see in there, but look, I made a hole through the square box so that I can get my finger in. So I definitely don't recommend this exhaust system for your rig because it's just going to make your life hard. So I got rid of the front problem of clipping on. Now I've got the problem to clip it off. At least it should clip on easily enough. Let's take our body and let's test it. Okay, let me just throw my tabs down here so they don't get in my way. Okay. That goes on no problem. Okay, as you can see, the body clips on easy enough. It stays on. Now, the only thing I've got to complain about is the exhaust system I fitted to the rig. It definitely made it a lot harder to get it off. And if you don't break out that piece, you've got no way of getting your finger in. It's hard enough now. You've got to go like this underneath here, above your axle and put your finger in and you can get it off. And then I can just clip the front off. It's not an issue. But as I've mentioned, I definitely don't recommend this exhaust system because that is not been well thought out. Besides that, everything else I've fitted, I definitely recommend. Okay, so for this video, I am done. I'm not going to take it out for a test around the backyard course yet. I'm going to edit this video up and get it up because I'm taking too long. I've got so many things going on around me that I'm actually taking a long time to get videos out. And I really do apologize for it. Now, I'm going to continue immediately putting the other panels on and everything so I can get the next video up and then I'll run it around the backyard course so we can see how it performs and if I'm going to need to put some more weight down low because there's not much more I can do. It's already got all the brass part that you can fit to the rig. So the only thing I can do is maybe get the counterweights for the end on the knuckles. That could help to get a little bit more weight down low. I could also put the weights around the axles. I don't like that look. So I'm probably just going to go for some brass rims. So for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any of our latest content, don't forget to smash that bell. So for now, all I've got left to say is happy trails and I'll catch you all on the next one.